This is a glimpse of a video landscape of tomorrow. In this video, we're going to look at some examples of glitch art. And I thought DirecTV was bad. This art form draws inspiration from the aesthetics of digital mistakes. Mistakes like this offer something unexpected. Sometimes funny, and sometimes horrifying. Glitch art attempts to embrace and emphasize these mistakes. Kind of a Bob Ross approach to creativity. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Some artists directly manipulate hardware and software components to create this kind of work. Others use the glitch aesthetic in traditional forms, such as drawing, painting, fashion, and furniture design. I'm going to walk you through some techniques for practicing this yourself, both digitally and traditionally. One of the oldest and most common techniques for force glitching an image is called data bending. This is basically a method for manipulating the code of an image to produce unexpected digital effects. It's actually really easy to do. Here I've searched up a photo and saved it to my desktop. The next step is to make a copy of that photo, then open the photo in any image viewer. Here I'm using Preview. Now I want to open the image in some kind of word processor. For Mac I'm using Text Edit, and for PC you can do this with Notepad. So now I have the image file opened as a picture on the left, and it's also opened as a text file on the right. Just look at all the data that makes up this single image. So to data bin this image, all you'll need to do is start messing with the data. Let's see what happens when I change this K to an R. Now I'll save the text file and see what effect this had on the image. Not much. Maybe if I scroll down a little further and change this section to say Bob. That worked a little better. I also tried cutting from one section and pasting it into the other. Each one of these experiments had a slightly different effect. I also started to notice that the further down in the code I made my changes, the further down the change would appear on my image. Of all the techniques I'm covering, this is the most open to chance. Just be aware it is possible to overdo it. There are also several websites you can use to easily manipulate images like this. Photomosh is one I found to be super simple. All you need to do is open or drag an image in to start playing with it. This site offers a wide variety of manipulation styles, allowing for lots of experimentation. Each technique is listed on the right hand side and includes detailed controls for manipulating your image. Just make sure you check the white box to apply each effect. At any point you can save your image by clicking here. And then clicking the Mosh button will randomly apply multiple effects at once, which can produce some interesting results. Just keep in mind, we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. Okay, next I want to show you a quick way to make a glitch drawing using a few basic supplies. The way we're going to do this is to use a black, blue, and red marker. I went with this lighter blue highlighter because it more closely resembles the blue from the RGB shift effect that we're going for. For my first experiment, I printed off a quick line drawing to help test things out. The idea is that you're going to repeat the lines of the drawing with the blue marker, but your blue lines will be shifted slightly to the left. You'll do the same thing with the red marker, but your red lines will be shifted slightly to the right. My trace lines are clearly not perfect, but the effect turned out pretty good. For my second attempt, I wanted to start from scratch. So I sketched my character out with pencil first.
Next, I outlined everything with Sharpie. Then I erased my pencil lines. Then I added the blue and then the red. To finish this piece, I added some white distortion lines with white out. Then I emphasized the white marks with accents of black, blue, and red. It kind of creates an optical illusion effect when it's finished. I'm excited to see what kind of glitch art you guys can make.